All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble a Dell Latitude Model 3490. So first what you want to do is undo all the screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The screws are held in with um, little washers, so they won't come out, but just unscrew them until they stop like holding in place. All right, you'll know when, when it's done because when you turn the screw, you'll hear it like clicking. Okay, so once you remove all the screws, what you want to do is just go on the side um, through the edge with your fingernails or uh, pry tool and just pop up all the edges. Um, on the left side, on this side with the VGA port, it's it'll be caught here, so you don't need to actually pry this side up. But um, just go all the way around, just like this. All right. And then once you get all of it out, um, you can lift it at an angle like this and kind of wiggle it. Um, if it is kind of stuck, you can kind of help pry it a little bit on the side here, but it should come out pretty easily. All right, so just like that. And then underneath, you can see um, there's a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive um, that connects with the adapter to the logic board here. Um, then you got the VGA board um, that also connects with a wire. Um, you got the LCD cable that goes to the screen. And then you got the fan, looks like it's removable uh, with just the one screw. And then the connectors here. The CPU is soldered in place, so you can't remove that. Um, it's using DDR4 memory. Um, so the model, you can actually see it here. It's a eight gig PC4 2400T. And then you can see the wireless card as well. So here's the wireless card, all right. So to remove the wireless card or the RAM, to remove the RAM, you just move these two to the side. It'll pop up like that and you can just pull it out. All right, put it back, same thing at an angle and then push it back down, all right. The um, wireless card is basically the same. You just have to remove the screw. It'll pop up at an angle and then you can wiggle it out. Um, to remove the antennas, you always wanna lift from the tail of the wire. Don't lift from the front and then just do it at an angle and it'll pop off. Okay, then you got the speakers. So the speaker, it runs across with the wire and then it plugs in right here. Um, you got the CMOS battery, which is on a separate um, board here, connecting with this wire. Um, and it also has a USB port there. Okay, so this board looks pretty good. It looks like there's a connector for a backlight um, for the keyboard, but it's not being used. Um, and then it looks like this is most likely for this cable is most likely for the keyboard and trackpad They merged it into one and the battery it connects here to remove that you just pull the two Corners of this white part of the connector underneath the black tape. You can see it's white But basically you would use your fingernails and kind of use both both sides and just kind of keep wiggling it until it pops out Okay, um, you can also remove it from this side as well if you wanted to um, but that's pretty much it. There's not much else to this. Oh, I got confused. So that is the trackpad, but the keyboard connector is actually here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. If this video helped you, remember to like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.